Hi guys, my name is Sylvester and welcome to Penumbra Necrologue. Okay, I haven't played any of the Penumbra games. I know some people are going to hate me because of that. And I also haven't played the Amnesia games. I saw this came out a couple of weeks ago. I saw that it's getting really good reviews on Steam. So I thought I'd give it a crack so that you guys could have a look. I could experience it with you and you can watch me get scared, I assume, again. And only you decide what to do with this story. To consider it ravings of a madman or horrible fate of a friend, fate that you wouldn't wish on your enemy. Um, okay. I'm probably going to miss a lot of references back to the Penumbra game. Um, but that's okay. Can plan one step ahead, but it does not mean that everything happens the way you've predicted. I expected to find my father to learn all his secrets, but I was too late. With my own hands, I killed all of my friends. I did not even get to see them. Only the annoying, duplicitous voice never left me, always irritating the unhealed wounds of my soul. And finally, I found a way to destroy it. But even that was not the end. Tungate is the reason for everything that has happened to me. It showed me its world and started to trust me. But I betrayed it. It was yet another of my mistakes. Surviving all this miraculously did make me lose my mind, but now I feel like I'm going insane after all. Okay. And huh. Monkey! Monkey! Monkey, are you there? That was fucking freaky. Uh, you finally woke up. You're probably a little surprised that I'm back in your head. I'll say you frankly, if I do something other than what you want, it isn't because I want to kill you. Yeah, I keep saying that you're too stupid to live because you're a brainless amoeba. But hey, think for yourself. If I wanted to kill you, I would do it as easy as I did with your blithering friend Swanson. Don't you forget that I'm in control of your senses? And now listen carefully. I am sick of sitting in your loggy head. Now I still prefer to go forward, not sit still. Go ahead, monkey. Wow, that guy's insulting. I'm still not in control of anything. Oh, here we go. Okay. What's that? It. Oh, I can throw stuff. Hiya! Oh, that's cool. I can throw you. Hiya! Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you're there. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha That's fun. Okay, what's this? Not yet. I need to think. Okay. Yeah! Spinny, spinny chair! Spinny, spinny chair! Another book. Hiya! Oh, <laughs> I'm liking this throwing books escapade. Still with this. Oh. Oh. So it's like everything is. I'm guessing a lot of things are going to be touchable and stuff, and I'm going to have to search almost everything to find out what's. Why can't I do that one? Why can't I do you? What's wrong with you? 
There you go. Nothing. Motherfucker. And throw! I went behind you. <laughs> and throw! You went behind you too. What can I do with you? Nothing. Evan? Well, surely I can do from last year, but I'm not sure what year is it. Well, surely it says on the calendar. What's this? It does not give any light anymore. Flash that. Okay. E. Q. No. Wait, what? Ooh. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're alive. I didn't hear a word from you for a whole day. Or so. I'm so glad you're alright. Sorry, but I have to move constantly. That's why we haven't met yet. By the way, it turns out that I'm not infected. I left a note for you back then. It was so silly of me. I'm sorry. And yes, a notification from the main core of the shelter yesterday came on my computer. Well, on the computer which is near me. It appears that someone summoned some kind of expedition, and they're searching for survivors right now. They're sending a signal to all computers in the station, to people like me and you. Don't lose hope, and immediately move to them. So, I hope very much that we'll finally meet, and then I'm going to kiss you. Good luck. I'm sure it helped you before. Okay. And then just power down. You know, actually your eyes are not deceiving you. Either you believe me or not. Yes, I've played a little with you, but only at the very end. And if I did this at the beginning, we both wouldn't be here now, would we? So take my word for it. It is a great pleasure to see how you're suffering and writing in pain. But I don't want to disappear just because of your stupid monkey who can understand simple jokes. Okay then. All these notes, what? All these notes, what do they mean? What does it all mean? Okay. I don't really want to open that door just yet. What's in here? It fell at a badly timed moment, but at least I know it didn't land on my head. I want to open it. I didn't open these drawers here. Maybe there's something in it. No. 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 Thanks, game. Okay. My head keeps spinning. Where the clowns come from? Is Anna Amabel really alive? These questions are stuck in my mind. There is only one thing that is perfectly clear. I'm alive and I've got a chance for salvation. Okay. Salvation from? This is probably explained in the Penumbra games, isn't it? But I don't know what I am looking for salvation from. Yet. So, based on the fact that you're infected and I'm the most reasonable person here, I can surely say this corridor's changed a bit. Let's play. You find the way without my help, and I'll give you a shiny penny. Clarence, this motherfucker got fucked up. Okay, I don't even know how to equip my flashlight, to be honest. F? There we go. Oh, I can open it slowly. All oh, alike. Ha! <laughs> don't like the sound of kennel. All the atmosphere is building up. So many rooms, so many choices. Oh, so that's a person then. It's just a chair. Jeepers creepers. 
well, I can't move the chair. I can move the chair because it's really slowly. Okay. I'm already lost. feeling somebody is going to jump out of me at any second. Give me a tape. Okay, maybe a cassette player to play it. God, this sounds scary. Ooh. Is that a save point? Maybe that was a save point. It's not really being clear about this fact. Ah, can I put the cassette in here? Someone's whistling. And my flashlight's going out. Oh. This is wonderful. What the fuck? Why is everything weird colour? Okay, I'm just opening things for the fuck of it now. It's broken like everything else in here. Touch in case it makes loads of noise. Okay. Guess. Let's go out the door. Open the door. Okay. It's outside. Let's go have a look over here. I'm very much expecting a sound. There's blood on the floor. Lots of wind coming from outside. Okay. Okay. light underneath that door. I don't really know what's going on. Gee, pencil. Well, we're not going to be able to do this pencil. Nothing, I guess, is broken. What have we done? This game is really starting to build tension now. I don't know if you can... Did Annabelle write this? I don't know if you can hear all the ambience that... What the fuck? Why is there like... Green blood on the floor? I don't know if you can hear all the ambient sounds, but wow just really scary ambient sounds going on right about now. Feels like one of those games is just gonna build the tension and build the tension and build the tension and when it goes, when it decides to scare you, it's really gonna scare you. Yeah, I'm just gonna check everything here, nothing going on. Nopes, nopes. Nopes, nopes. 
And while I'm doing this, I'm, I, I will just point out this is a modification to Amnesia. Um, it's a free modification, so if you have the Amnesia game, ah, oh, pick up parcel. Might as well put it down in there, neaten the place up a bit. If you have um, Amnesia, what? What do I do with this? Throw on the wall. Ha ha. Wait, wait, what? Can't pick it up again. And smash, smash. Yeah. Um, if you have the Amnesia game, you can go to the Steam store. Um, and just look up for Penumbra and it will come up and you can download the mod and give it a try for yourself. Let's have a look at this. How's the documents? I will doubt I'll find anything useful here. I think I disagree with that. I think there'll be something very useful there. I just think you don't want to read it. Let's have a quick look in here. Okay. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Holy crap, man. That's a knife. That's another knife. There are two knives. I need to cut this. It's not letting me... Oh, that's not good. I can't cut like that. No, okay. It's not letting me do that, so... It does not work. Can't hover over the picture. We're looking at drawers. Maybe this room's just a room to show how further fucked up this game is. Okay. We can't do anything with those. Well... I'm just going to carry around a knife. Why not carry around a knife like a boss? There's nothing I can do with it. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing more of it so we can get further and deeper into the story. Um, and I can try and figure out what the fuck has happened, who the fuck has happened to, and what my role is in this story, because I have no idea. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video.